In this video, I'll show you how to find the center, vertices, foci, and slope for a hyperbola and also graph. This is question one. The question reads, find A, B, and C, the coordinates of the center, the vertices V, and the foci F, focal width, and the slope of the asymptotes for the hyperbola represented by the equation x squared over 25 minus y squared over 36 is equal to 1. The first thing that you'll notice just from the equation is that the y term is negative. And because the y term is negative, you'll have a hyperbola that opens to the left and to the right. Therefore, the transverse axis here is referred to as being horizontal. That being said, we need to find a, b, and c. a can easily be found from the formula. Your a term always represents the square root of the positive denominator. So in our case, the positive variable is x, so your a will be the square root of 25. We have a squared is equal to 25. Square rooting both sides, we end up with a is equal to plus minus 5. The b term is the one associated with the negative term. In our case, the negative term is y, so b squared is equal to 36, and the square root of 36 is plus minus 6. So we found our a, we found our b, we can also find our c, and c represents the distance from the center all the way to the focus. And it's going to be a plus minus number. The way we find our c is we use the formula c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Let's go ahead and fill this in. 5 squared plus 6 squared, and we'll square root that. We end up with 25 plus 36, and the square root of 25 plus 36 is 7.8. So roughly 7.8 represents the distance from the center to the focus. From this, we can find the coordinates of the foci. So we'll call this focus 1 and focus 2. Focus 1 will have the coordinates 7.8 and 0 and focus 2 will have the coordinates negative 7.8 and 0. So we found the foci, we found C, the coordinates of the center will represent 0 and 0 because the equation fits the standard form equation of a hyperbola that is centered at 0 and 0. Take a look at the standard equation of a hyperbola. Notice that when you don't have anything being added or subtracted to the x's, then it's centered at the origin. So the coordinates of the center is at 0 and 0. The coordinates of the vertices, on the other hand, are related to a. Notice that a is the distance from the center to the vertex. So the vertices here, v1, we'll call this one v1, has the coordinates 5 and 0, and v2 has the coordinates negative 5 and 0. I'll check that off. To find the focal width, we need to use a special formula. And at the same time, we'll find the slope of the asymptotes by using this formula, b over a. And you only use b over a when the transverse axis is horizontal, in which our case it is. That being said, the slope will be plus minus, and it's represented by the letter m, where b is equal to 6, a is equal to 5. Therefore, the slope is roughly plus minus 1.2. So this will be m is equal to 6 over 5, and this will be m is equal to negative 6 over 5. The last thing that we are looking for is the focal width, and we'll use the formula L is equal to 2 times b squared over a. b, we know, is 6. So we have 2 times 6 to the power of 2 over 5. 6 to the power of 2 is 36 times 2, that's 72. 72 over 5, and we'll use our calculator for this, gives us 14. That represents the distance from the focus to the red. So this right here represents the length of the focus. And there you have it. That is how to find the center, vertices, foci, and slope for a hyperbola. And the graph can be represented like this. Be sure to watch question two for a slightly more complicated example.